everyone. Today we are going to work on our number sets notes. So I want to make sure you have this. If you don't have a copy of this, I need you to pause it, this video, and go on and write this down. And when you're writing, make sure that you have one, two, three, four, basically four concentric circles here. Okay. So if you have the notes, we're going to get started. So we're going to talk about these. You've probably heard of all of these, except you might not remember natural numbers. So natural numbers are basically your counting numbers. And I'm going to put that number sign, counting numbers starting at one. Okay. So basically, one, two, three, four, dot, dot, dot. So no decimals, no fractions, nothing. Okay? So those are natural numbers. So I'm going to move this, but I'm not going to erase that. So your natural numbers are actually like our smallest set. Now, there's still an infinite number that goes in here, but I'm going to go in and put natural. Okay, that's like our smallest set. So if you think about it, the first number that would go in here would be one. Okay, not zero, one. So if you need to pause the video to get this, that's fine. Just keep pausing it as you need to in case I'm going too fast for you. Now, see if I can line this up correctly. I might not be able to. It's not working, so I'll just erase it. So one, two, three. Okay, so whole numbers are basically the same thing, but they start at zero, okay? So counting numbers starting at zero, okay? Or you can say natural and zero, okay? So whole numbers would be zero, one, two, three, and we just keep going, okay? So remember right here, these are natural. I'm going to try not to move this since I couldn't get it back. Okay, and then whole. So I want you to listen to what I'm going to say and see if this makes sense. So natural, that's our smallest set, it starts at 1, okay? But 1 is also a whole number, but the smallest set that it goes in is natural. That's the smallest, what we call subset of numbers, okay? So whole starts at 0. 0 cannot go here, so the smallest subset that zero can go into is whole, okay? So make sure we understand that. So the next one would be two, right? So two could actually go in natural, and two could go in whole. Notice that, okay? So these are basically the same thing, except whole starts at zero, okay? Some people don't like to say counting numbers starting at zero because they don't consider zero a counting number, but I'm adding in the word or the number zero for that, okay? So sometimes they'll just say natural and zero. I'm just trying to make it make sense in your brain, okay? So integers are your whole numbers and their negatives, okay? So remember, negatives will be less than zero, okay? So whole numbers would be like zero, one, two, three. But then when I say and they're negative, so the opposite of one, negative one, okay? Opposite of two, negative two. So I can keep going, okay? 
So notice again, we still don't have fractions. We still don't have decimals. Okay. So I'm going to put integers here. So again, notice what number is there. So one could go here, but remember the smallest set is, is the natural numbers for one. So one is natural, but it's also whole, it's also an integer, but natural is the smallest subset that it can go into, okay? Now integers also have negative, so I could say negative one. I could say zero. I could say negative 100, okay, because it keeps going. Um, I can also say negative a thousand, negative a million, doesn't matter. Positives and negatives. Now I can't put something like negative 1.1, okay, because that has a decimal, so that does not go into integers, okay. Okay, and last of all, we have rational numbers. This one you might need a little more room. I'm going to actually change my pen to write a little smaller. So rational numbers, and I know this is, I'm sorry, this is kind of a long definition, is any number that can be written as a fraction, and this is where it gets kind of, it could be confusing, don't let it confuse you, A over B, I mean that looks like a fraction to you I'm sure, but it's going to say where A and B are integers. So what that is saying is, I don't want to put a decimal number in that fraction position. I don't want a decimal here for A. I don't want something irrational, something like a square root, which I know we have, we will not be doing that in seventh grade, okay? So we go back to a larger pin. That's too large. Okay. Okay. So rational numbers, and basically in seventh grade, oh, well, it's not the size I want on this writing, but I'm, as long as you can see it, I'm happy. Okay, so rational numbers. Basically, you are only going to be working with rational numbers in seventh grade except one thing, which is on our formula chart, which is called pi. So pi will not go in here. We are going to talk about this later. This has to do with circles, okay? So one more time, I'll go ahead and put that here. It's a line, a line, and it's kind of a squiggle up, down, slightly up again, okay? So in seventh grade, we only work with rational except for this symbol, which is pi. We will work on that when we get to um, circles. Now we get to rationals. Now we can use fractions. We can use decimals. Even if it's repeating, we can use it, okay? So again, one is actually rational because I can write it as a fraction. I can just put it over one because one divided by one is one. I could put negative, neg I'm gonna do negative two in this case, negative two over one. Negative two divided by one is negative two. I can write these as fractions, even though this one can fit in this column here. I could put negative two, not in this column, but in this subset, okay? But rational, I can also have like one and five tenths. I can have one and a half. I can have one third. I can even have like 0.3 repeating because even though it repeats, all repeating numbers can be written as a fraction. If you actually divide, for instance, one on the inside divided by three on the outside, you will end up getting this number. So repeating numbers um, also are considered rational, okay? You might see it this way, uh, zero point say one, one, two, three. If you see those ellipses, that's the same thing as if it's repeating, OK? 
okay? So you might see me use these if I'm using um, certain documents where I cannot put the line on top. I hope that makes sense to you, okay? So when you have the dots, just like here, that means it keeps going, and our fancy word for that is, we call it ellipses, okay? So in this case, we're going forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, so we put it backwards. So, natural, whole, integers, rational. Okay, so if you need to, I'm about to, pa I'm about to um, erase this, so if you need to pause it to write it, do that. I also have it written here. So I can come back to it if I need to. Now what I'm going to do is decrease the size of this so that we can see um, all of this. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to put my words back in here. So natural. Remember, natural starts at one whole integer and rational. Okay, so we're going to place these in here, um, and we're going to place it only in the smallest set that it goes in. So for instance, one, well, if you look back at the definition of natural, remember natural was counting numbers starting at one. So always go back to the first set, okay? The smallest set, which is natural, okay? Natural starts at one, then it keeps going. It's counting numbers, no decimals, no fractions, okay? So only gonna put it in the smallest subset because it's still within this entire circle here. So one is also whole, integer, and rational, okay? Because it's still inside this big oval, okay? Now we have negative two. Okay, so I'm gonna cross this off. Negative two. So we know Natural is one, and then two, three, four, no negative, so it's not there. Whole is almost the same, but it starts with zero. So it's zero, and then we go forward into the positive, so it's not there. Integer, negative two, because zero, one, two, three, and it's negative, negative one, negative two, negative three. So this is the smallest subset that integer can go into, sorry, that negative two can go into. Zero, so zero. So go back, start at the beginning, natural numbers start at what? One, so that can't be right. So the next one is whole numbers, whole numbers start where? They start at zero, so that is the smallest subset that it can go into. Okay, now the next one is one third. So remember, one, two, three, four, no fractions, no decimals. No, this starts at zero, zero, one, two, three, no fractions, no decimals. Integer, negative two. So zero, one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three, no fractions, no decimals here. Rational is the only place that we can put fractions, okay? Fractions that don't equal into like a whole number. And I'll explain that here in a minute, okay? So one third, this is a proper fraction, proper fraction. So I'm gonna put one third. Okay, last one over here, and then I'm gonna have you do these. Actually, I'll help you with one more. 10 over two, so think of 10 divided by two. Well, that actually equals five. Well, five is natural, okay? So now you're gonna be answering some, don't forget where this pi goes. 
out here. You're going to answer some questions by...